My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 103 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at carbonyl compounds and their preparations. Carbonyl compounds and their preparation. Anytime you see a compound or in the functional group of an organic compound, there is carbon to oxygen bond, something like this. This compound is a carbonyl compound. A compound where there is presence of carbon double bonds to O is a carbonyl compound. Examples of carbonyl compounds are alkanoic acids, alkanas, alkanones, esters, and amides. These are carbonyl compounds. Now, esters and amides are referred to as alkanoic acid derivatives. They are gotten from alkanoic acid. So, Carbonyl compounds are alkanoic acids, alkanas, alkanones, and acid derivatives. Let's take a look at the functional group of the alkanoic acid or the carboxylic acid. For acids, we obviously have an alkyl group. Then, this is the functional group. C, double bond to O, and bond to OH. If you look at alkanoic acid, you agree with me that they have two functional groups. They have the carbonyl functional group and they have the hydroxyl functional group. The oil functional group and the carbonyl functional group. So, John may ask, which of the following compounds have two functional groups? Carbonic alkanoic acids definitely have two functional groups. But this is what we are interested in. If you look at this functional group, you see something like this. There is C double bond to O. That is a carbonyl compound. For this general formula, this is the formula, the, the functional group. You see towards the end of the compound, there is carbon bond to oxygen and to hydrogen. This O can be at the top while hydrogen is here. So the arrangement should not bother you. For this, C double bond to O can be here while OH is at the top. It should not bother you as well. But you see, there is a presence of C double bond to O. This is a carbonyl compound. Here, you see there is a C double bond to O in between two different alkyl groups. So if this C double bond to O is at the middle, not at the terminal, it is referred to as the alkanone. So this is an alkanone. And you see that it has the carbonyl functional group. Here is ester, alkyl Akanoid. Akai Akanoid. This should be. Let's put arrow here. For this is our major focus. C O O. If this is our focus, then you see that there is obviously C double bond to O in esters. For amides, there is C double bond to O. Then you see NH2 as well. So Without doubt, alkanoic acids, alkanas, alkanones, esters, and amides are carbonyl compounds. How do we prepare them? In the previous episode, we looked at chemical property of alkanones, and we said that when alkanones react with alkanoic acid, we form esters, and I gave you example and structures. That alone solves half of the problem we have here. And that reaction I gave you will serve as reaction and example in all this. If you've forgotten, go back to that episode. Alkanones, no, alkanoic acids can be prepared by complete oxidation of primary alkanones. 
Also, they can be prepared by hydrolysis. Remember, I said that when acid, when alkanos react with alkanoic acid, will form esters and water. Therefore, since the reaction is reversible, when esters and water react, we form alkanos and alkanoic acids. So, alkanoic acids can be formed via that method or by complete oxidation of primary alkanos, like I gave you in the previous episode. To prepare alkanas, we oxidize primary alkanos partially. Remember, we said that partial oxidation of primary alkanos will give alkanas. So, this is a method of preparing alkana. Then, we said that to prepare alkanones, we oxidize secondary alkanones. Oxidation of secondary alkanones will give you alkanones. Then for esters, they are prepared by esterification. When alkanones react with alkanoic acids, we form esters and water. How about amide? Amide is also an acid derivative. When you react an acid chloride with ammonia, you will form amide. This is the acid functional group, carboxylic acid functional group, C O O H. Now, when you replace this with C L, this becomes an acid chloride. So, when this acid chloride reacts with ammonia, obviously, chlorine we pick one hydrogen here to give you hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid as the case may be. Then the remaining NH2 will come and chill out here to give you amides. That is it for carbonyl compounds. And I do hope you found this class helpful. In the next episode, we shall start looking at acids, alkanas, alkanodes, esters individually. But I won't mention their preparations again. I want to mention or emphasize on their functional group again. So make sure you understand all that in this episode. And make sure you subscribe to this channel if you've not. And make sure you tell your friends about the Flash Learners YouTube channel if they don't have about it. And make sure you install the Flash Learners Jam application using this YouTube description, visiting flashlearners.com or searching Flash Learners Jam on Play Store or reaching out to me directly for installation. An activation guide. Ladies and gentlemen, see you in the next episode.